Hello everybody, uh, I'm Alex Rodriguez. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about baseball, but the inside of baseball. I wanna talk about uh, three players that I learned a great deal from. One, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, my teammate in Seattle. The other one is Derek Jeter, Hall of Famer, my teammate with the Yankees. Nobody on. Jeter hits it into right. Back at the wall. Game over. Yankees win and the series is tied. And another Hall of Famer in Chipper Jones, who I played in 2008 for the U.S. Olympic team when we represented uh, the USA. Swing high. These three guys had one thing in common, and I'm, I'm really, really sure that it helped them in their trajectory to having this Hall of Fame careers. Uh, all three of them, during the game, they watched the game for nine innings. Now, they may slip in there to the video room for 30 seconds, watch their swing, but they were right back on the bench watching. One thing that stood out, which was incredible, if you wanted to talk to Chipper Jones, you talked to him before the game, or after the game, but for those nine innings, he sat in the corner and he watched that pitcher looking for anything that can help him, the momentum of the game, the tempo of the game. And for you youngsters out there, when you go into the video room, you know what you're thinking about? The past, and you're thinking about the future. What you're not thinking about is the moment, and the present is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Now, when you're looking at that pitcher, there's things to look for. I'm gonna give you three ways that pitchers tip pitches all the time. But the only way you can pick up on these signals is if you're paying attention. If you're still stuck in your last at bat, studying and watching and in your head, then you're not gonna be able to prepare for what's coming next. So let me show you three ways that pitchers tip pitches as a hitter. These are the three things I would look for. I'm gonna show you something with the glove I'm gonna show you something with the hands and the tempo. And last, I'm gonna show you with the ball. Let's start with the glove. So with a glove, if you're hitting and you see a pitcher squeeze, you see this, squeeze, a lot of times that would be a fastball. Okay, now, if you see the glove open like that, open like that, that sometimes is a changeup. Now, why is it a changeup? Let me show you this angle. If it's a fastball, you have two fingers in here and you, you have it closed. Because your hand is bigger and you need to get a changeup grip, that opens up, but as a result, sometimes as a hitter, you're able to pick that up. That's one way. When they're from the stretch, what you find a lot of pitchers do is they're looking at you and when they're throwing a fastball, they're a lot more deliberate. Why? Because they're loading up and they need that power and they need to be slow and then they come and then they explode with the fastball. What a lot of pitchers do when it comes to throwing a breaking ball, meaning a curveball, a slider, or a changeup, they'll speed up. And you can see it right away. A fastball, they'll be a lot slower. They're loading up slider they just come right here and they're trying to speed you up to go soft and keep you off balance Jen you'll like this one this is the difference when you're able to see the white ball now this is the one that I love the most because so many pitchers did this and I hit so many home runs in my career by just pitchers just giving tips right but you have to watch so youngsters, get on that bench and pay attention. You don't need to be talking. You certainly don't need to be in the video room. I almost wish that Major League Baseball got rid of the video during the games so people can actually focus on the moment. So this is the best one here. If you're seeing a fastball, you're gonna see a lot of white. Okay? 
I'm going to do that in slow motion. That's a fastball. Now I'm going to show you a changeup. You tell me if you see the difference. Okay. So now I'm going to try it. You tell me if there's a fastball. Fastball, you're going to see white. Changeup, you're going to see all hands. Okay. What is this here? That's a fastball. Right. What's this? That's a changeup. Now I'm doing it in slow motion, but I'm going to now do it in real speed and you tell me if you're able to pick this up. It's gonna be subtle, but if you're paying attention, you'll be able to pick this up. Right, fastball. I'm gonna go fastball again. Fastball, okay? Change up. You're gonna get a quick look at it, but you gotta really focus. And if you slow it down and you watch enough, 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 you'll sit there on the bench and you're pretending you're in the batter's box and you start calling it out, calling it out. These are called in-game dressed rehearsals. These will be very, very important. The more you pay attention, the game will talk to you. The scoreboard will talk to you. The players on the field will talk to you. There's body language. There's an energy to a game that if you stick yourself in, in the middle of that energy, as an athlete, you'll have a competitive advantage. The minute you go into the video room, you're basically cutting the zone away from you because the zone lives in the moment. And the minute you go back or you look forward, you're staying away from the moment. Those are my three tips on pitchers tipping pitches. Uh, next week, I'll come back with three tips, this time for hitting. So we'll see you next week. See ya!